everybody. Do bulletproof, filter rewrite it. Fire away, fire away. Grab your coffee and your laundry. We're gonna sip and fold together. Please pardon my, my voice. My poor mouth is so sore. Hello, Julie and Amanda and Seanan. Seanan, Seanan. Ciara, Ciara and Heidi. Bulletproof, filter rewrite it. Do you see how I hit that note right there? Do you see how it just, it's like butter, right? Do you, bulletproof, filter rewrite it. Right there, right there. That's, that's where you hear the angels crying. <laughs> Good morning, Crystal. Good morning, Jessica. Hello. Hello. Hello, Jennifer. Oh, she's got her coffee on. She's going. Hey, Lisa. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Welcome, welcome, one and all, to Bulletproof Build Every Friday. And as I was, <clears throat> as I was um, grinding, grinding my beans this morning um because I get a mixture when I order I like a couple of different I like French the the French roast uh love the mentalist which is right here the original is good but this is my la this is when you know that you're a parent and you're an adult and these are your 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 official adult problems this is my last bag Okay, I was grinding my beans this morning. They do have K cups, Cassie. You need to you need to check it. Click the link above. You can head over and check it out. But get ten percent off. But this is when you know that you're a grown up and you have an emergency. When you open your your bag and you're grinding and you realize you have half a bag left. So as soon as I get off here with you guys, I will be heading over to purchase more coffee because I cannot believe that I let it get to this point. And I'm not exactly sure how that happened, but hello, Candy and Amanda and Gina. So I'm I'm uh, I'm going to be doing that immediately. This is the Mentalist. I love the Mentalist. This is one of my absolute faves. So it's there. Happy hello, Amy and Jennifer, and good morning, Tammy. And so it is. It, it, you know, I I definitely have time to get it in, but if I wait any longer. It's, it's going to get real, and it's going to get real scary for everyone if I don't get it ordered. So, yes, Rebecca, you made it to BPFFF. <laughs> we have acronyms for the show now. I love it. Hey, Summer. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Kara. So you have to try them out. You have to check it out. Try the coffee. Get 10% off. Um, everybody in here who has tried it has messaged me. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. So... Mm. Oh, it's so warm. It's so good. Hello, Sarah. Mm. And Anne. Mm. All right. So moving on, moving on. Good morning to everybody. It is Friday. Um, I've got my laundry. I'm getting my fold on. Um, yeah, you're in here live, Jenna. And you love their coffee. Awesome. Yeah, it's one of those things, you know, you just, you can't, you really shouldn't, it, I was being, I was being um, very irresponsible by not being ordered properly, so uh, it will be taking place when I'm done here. So anyway, so welcome, welcome to Bulletproof Filter Free Friday. Just a heads up for those of you um, who were supposed to be uh, seeing me live tonight, obviously I'm not in Tennessee, um, uh, the show was canceled. But we sent out an email last night, so check your inboxes, check your spam, check everywhere, because we are doing a private live feed um, for you guys, uh, and it's invite only, because you paid for the tickets, and although they were reimbursed, because we didn't steal money, um, we wanted to do something special for you, so I will be having a live private event, so you have to check your email and join the group, okay? Um, Lori asked a question, has anybody tried this if you suffer from acid reflux? That is why I switched. FYI, terrible acid reflux. Esophageal tumors back in 2014. I've totally had my esophagus reconstructed. I don't even own a full esophagus anymore. I only own a partial. Stop it. We don't need to save the universe. I only own a partial esophagus. 
okay? And this coffee, I had to actually, I was quitting coffee because my heartburn was so bad. And a friend of mine um, from Canada was like, you should try Bulletproof, love it. It's clean, it's good, it doesn't give me heartburn. And I switched, never been back, never been back, never been back. So somebody just asked that, so there you go, Lori, boom. Boom, how you like me now? Boom. All right. So please check. Please check to see. Because if you had bought a ticket, you get to come into the. Um, hey, we don't need to save the universe from the, the elderly people walking in the backyard. They are not going to rob us. Oh, my goodness. And you know what? One day, what if somebody, what if an elderly person attempts to rob me? Okay. I'm good with caffeine, Lori. I'm fine with the caffeine. It does not give me heartburn. Um, yeah, so, so, um, yeah, so we have that going on. So that is Saturday night at eight o'clock. So please check your spam folder. Please check your inbox. Um, uh, other housekeeping items before we get into the thick of it. If you are attempting, Daphne's always on the job, guys. If you are attempting to enter the pet contest, which was in the newsletter, which if you didn't get the newsletter, you need to head over to www.thatsinappropriate.com slash welcome, and you can subscribe to the newsletter. Um, there's a pet contest on the site, okay? Go over. It's been fixed. You can upload your pet photos now. You'll win a That's an Appropriate swag pack. Pack. Swag pack. Okay, so go and do that. Not right this minute, but when we're done, all right? I'll order coffee, you go enter your, your pets for the photo contest, okay? I had so much fun with the post the other day showing me your snuggle buddies. We wanna do a pet contest, okay? Um, yeah, and it's okay if you're taking that, Holly, um, for the Harper, and this, this coffee is not gonna do anything for that because I take that on and off for mine as well. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Shelly. Shelly and Kelly. Look at that. So, yeah. So, we took um, we took uh, Eric out for dinner last night for his birthday. And I, like the delightful friend that I am, gave him a card but no gift because I ordered the gift late and it does not show up until Monday. Um, <laughs> but he obviously knows me well enough to know that I'm not going to be prepared. And so, his gift will arrive Monday and I will give it to him on Monday. And he will wear one of his gifts wine's day of next week so you can see it hey lisa so um it i did get him i did get him two things that i think he's going to love and i think they're great oh happy birthday alicia um i think they're great gifts but i was super late in ordering them hey gloria um super late super late with ordering them you can you can take a picture of your son's beta fish heidi a pet is a pet um so yeah so i we took them out to eat, and then we went to Dairy Queen, and we had some ice cream cones, and Mason pooped in Dairy Queen, not like on the floor or anything, just in his pants, <laughs> and um, stunk up the joint, and so then it was time to go, and so then it was time to go. So then we, we came home, and we worked for a little bit, and that was pretty much, that was pretty much the evening, and then I sat, I sat in bed, um, and watched the Goldbergs with my husband for a little while. So that was our fun, our fun Thursday. And my guess is that's how our Friday will shape up as well. Um, who did you meet last night? Oh, I missed it. Met somebody last night in person. Hey, Vicky. Oh, yes. You're in Australia and they had it in a cafe. You can, oops, you can find it all over the place. When I was in New York, I, um, I found it in a shop too, but it was the cold brew, um, which I keep in my fridge, um, and is very good. You should try the mocha. I recommended it to another friend. She tried it. She loves it. And the fat water. Um, love the fat water. Uh, and my kids love the fat water, which is why I can't keep it because they keep drinking it. Speaking of kids who do things that they shouldn't, like take all of my stuff, love the Goldbergs. Um, so I went and I got the bottom half of my braces on, right? Hey, Nicole. And... Before I go to do this, before any time I go for a tweaking or a whatever, I always go to the store and I buy pudding, jello, anything soft that I can keep in the fridge because I literally I can't eat for like three or four days after they put these after they twist the wires and do all the crap. Oh, Kelly, you're talking about me? Kelly, was that me? Was this Kelly that I met last night at Buffalo <laughs> Wild Wings? Uh, I met Kelly last night at Buffalo Wildings. She's a delight and her friend. 
Um, sorry, I thought she was talking about meeting somebody like famous. No, she met me, I'm not famous. Okay, um, so the kids go in all week. I had been buying these things and I stuck them in the fridge. The kids have been going in all week, packing their lunches and sticking my jellos, my puddings, and all of my soft like rice puddings into their, um, into their lunch boxes. There's none left. So my lunch today was going to be jello and jello pudding. There's nothing. There's nothing. Okay? They've eaten it all. So there you go. So thanks kids for taking uh, and eating all of my stuff so mommy has none. Stop folding the kids clothes, it's a waste of time. You know, uh, it, that's true. That's extremely true because I have news for you. Every time I go to put these away on the off occasion that I do put them away, because sometimes I move it from the table and put them away, not necessarily because anybody's coming over or anything, just because I sometimes I do get tired of looking at it. When I go to put it away, the drawers are such a disaster that I can't, it's like I'm refolding all these different things. Then Brian comes up to me the other day, takes his shorts off, kicks them, just a little bloop, goes to the side of the room. I said, you need to pick that up. You need to fold those and you need to put those away. Because here's the thing, my kids always get dressed in pajamas, why? Because they strip down naked before they go to bed and only sleep in underpants. Fair. I do the same thing. Issue, they always leave them on the floor. So I said to him, I need you to pick those up, fold them, and put them away. He goes, you know, my back hurts and I'm kind of tired. I think I'm just going to go to bed. I said, uh, no, you're not. You're going to fold that and put it away. And he's like, mom. And he goes like this. And he goes like this. And he starts to rub his back. Get the hell out of here, kid, rubbing your back, okay? Get out of here, fold that, put it away, get your butt in bed. Oh, but it's my, mom, it's my back, it's my back. I wanted, I wanted to punt him like Anchorman punts Baxter, okay? I was like, you better fold this, get out of here, okay? Get out of here. And I think I'm just gonna get rid of I think I'm just gonna get rid of all of their pajamas because they don't actually sleep in them, okay? All they do is wear them around the house for a bit and then strip down to the naked and then get in bed. So it's like, what was the point of that? What was the point of that? Why do I even own pajamas for them, okay? I, I wear my pajamas or at least tops. <laughs> I might not put bottoms on, but it's like, you know, and I don't, Never mind. I, I'm I'm pretty bad at that as well. But seriously, kid, help help a mother out. Put your laundry back in into the the dang drawer, okay? Because I am so sick and tired of washing something and looking at it and going, I've never seen anyone wear this. How is this in? How is this in the laundry? I've never seen a child wear this. How is it dirty? How on earth? Is it dirty? Because you look at it and you're like, when did you wear this shirt? I don't remember ever seeing you in this. So yeah, so that is a thing that happens. You look at it and you're like, nope, don't recall that one. Nope, don't recall that one. And of course, somehow it manages to end up back in the, uh, not even in the hamper, on the floor next to the hamper. Because whoever created a hamper was like, a sadist, right? Like the guy who invented a hamper was like, ha ha, watch how pissed off I'm going to make these moms. I'm going to build a hamper, which is a place where dirty clothes go, but their entire family is going to throw the dirty clothes next to the hamper and never in the hamper. Watch how pissed off this woman gets. And then they do this like 50 year psychological torture study where they put cameras in people's houses that own hampers and they watch them as they go to the hamper to take the clothes out but the clothes are just on the floor and they sit there and they go no 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 because that's what I imagine is is what these inventors are thinking when they invent something it's not that it's not that we would actually use it it's just that they wanted to torture us with the device like this would be really cool if you could get your kids to put your clothes in the laundry basket, but they're not going to. So that's what I think about the hamper situation. So these are, if you're ever wondering what I think about during the day, if you ever wonder what I'm thinking about during the day, it's those things. 
That's what I'm thinking about. Okay? Yeah. Or, or there's just a trail. Oh, look. Velma got to this one. This one might be done. This one, this one might be done. Velma got to this one. Um, or there's just the trail where it looks like your child had been evaporated from the front door where it's like sock, sock, short, shirt. And it's like, wh why are, why is my kid naked somewhere? He's full, full naked. I see undies. I see it all. I see London. I see, I see France, right? So yeah. So, um, <clears throat> any who's all that's, these are the things that I think about throughout the day, right? Not, not super productive, but these, these are my thoughts, you know, these, these are my thoughts. So I hope you northerners are doing okay. Um, I haven't really heard much about super bad weather, but if you're having really bad weather, um, we're thinking of you. I know, I know, I know there was a lot of snow, but I don't know how much snow. So if you're up north, tell me how much snow you're currently dealing with, and then I'll tell you how beautiful our weather is, okay? Not to throw stones. <laughs> Not to throw stones at all. But I'm just saying, um, it's a little chilly today. It's in the 60s. Do you ever find an actual pair of socks? No, but they don't wear them. The only, the only one of my kids who wears uh, matching socks is my soon-to-be 12-year-old. And um, he wears the ankle socks, so they're all the same. So those will match, right? But I only have one. Oh, wait. Here's the other. Look, a pair. <gasps> it has happened. <gasps> a pair of socks. <sighs> Minds are exploding all over the galaxy. A mom has made a match. It's like the match game. Who was that? Was that Chuck Woolery? Do you see where I'm it's like a, It's like, no, Jessica, you did not get a full foot, did you? 12 inches of snow, but a full foot. Yeah. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's true, Tammy said. My daughter thinks her d doll's clothes need to be washed. Sophia does the same crap to me, and I'm like, look, that baby ain't sweating, okay? I ain't washing her clothes. Stop it. Oh, so they did have some damage. You had damage. A tree fell on your car. Um, oh, it's cold, Cinnamon, here. Cinnamon's in Orlando. She said it's 47. That's cold for us. It's in the, it's in the 50s right now or, or, or low 60s. It's chilly. It's chilly for us. Hardly any in Wisconsin. I'm in Jersey. We got thunder snow. So that's a thunderstorm when it snows. That does sound unbelievably scary. Five inches on the ground in Pennsylvania. Four inches. Eight inches of snow. That seems like a lot, Hillary. Oh, that was just on Wednesday, Jessica. Oh, I'm sorry. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't even know what I would do with that. Yeah. You wash socks and underwear separate from everything else. See, I've tried that one. Um, but my my husband had to ask me to stop bleaching because I was wearing the socks out. So I don't do that separately anymore. And I bleach like towels or whatever, but I don't bleach the socks because he was saying that's where the holes were coming from. Although I don't think that's where the holes were coming from. I think the holes come from the dogs. Um, in fact, I know that's a, tr a true story. Um, Minnesota got a lot of snow. San Diego, I bet you didn't get any snow. Crystal, <laughs> Chicago, did you get snow? Oh, Alicia, they don't wear matching socks. I think that's just a thing now. It's like cool to wear. Uh-oh. Look at this one. This isn't even remote. Why would you put this on your foot? Why would you wear this and think, yeah, I'm good. This is good. And then give it to me to wash. Why would you wear this and then give this to me to wash? Why do you think that this is okay to be saved? Can you see my eyeball? I feel like you can, okay? This is my 12-year-old. Why would you think that this was, oh, we should keep it? Oh, Lord, there was a phone call. <laughs> there was a phone call. Don't call me. Don't call me right now. I'm in the middle of my show. We're going to have to throw those away. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure, Zee McTurzy. Oh, 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 for sure, Zee McTurzy. So, yeah. So, any hoozle. Um, so, yeah. So, that's what we got rocking and rolling. So, please don't forget about the pet contest. You can head over. Um, make sure you're registered for the newsletter and, and sign up to win. 
It's air conditioning for your feet. Thank you. I knew it was something. Air conditioning for your feet. My kid is just so smart. <laughs> now, um, some days my, do my kids don't wear socks, which is even worse because the smell is so bad. Um, and I don't know about you, but like my kids' feet have a very specific smell. Church socks. Yes, they are. My kids' feet have a very specific... Look at me, guys. I finished the laundry today in 20 minutes. That's amazing. Um, I, I, My kids will take off their shoes in the car, right? Which is like, it's a no-go. It's illegal. Do not do it. I can't stand it when they do it. I always yell because you can tell the second they take their gnarly feet out of those. Because they have like slip-on shoes or my daughter will have flats and they won't wear socks, right? So my kids' feet smell like salt and vinegar chips and like some sort of a funky cheese, right? Like it's bad. But everybody's kids, like every parent knows the smells that their kids make, right? Like you know, you know when your kid takes their shoes off in the car and you know it's your kid, right? Like it's like they have a distinct smell or their toots. Your family's toots have a very distinct smell. We've talked about this before, but it's like you claim them, right? Like you know their stank. Right? Like it's a brand, it's, it is your family brand and it stinks. Okay. But, um, it's just, it's gross. And I wish they would just keep their shoes on. And I've told them repeatedly. And last night we were in the car, we weren't in the car two seconds. And I said, oh, Sophia, you took off your shoes. And she's like, how did you know it was me? And I was like, cause I can, I know your scent. Ugh. But I was like, I was like, your feet smell that bad with socks on? She goes, oh, no, I had my flats on today. I didn't wear my socks. So then she goes, I go, Sophia, you cannot. I was like, wear the small little socks. Wear the small little socks um, so that you can at least it absorbs your foot sweat, okay? And she goes, yeah, we had um, we had a extra activity that we were allowed to do in Miss, in Miss So-and-So's class today. And um, we all were allowed to play Twister, but we had to take our shoes off. So she goes... I opted out of Twister because I knew how bad my feet smelled. And I went, oh my gosh, Sophia. I was like, you don't want to miss out on cool things like playing Twister. Just wear the socks. Why would you do that? She's like, I'd rather miss on Twister and just not wear my socks. I was like, oh, Sophia. Look, Danielle says, yeah, my kids' feet smell like bologna. It's a family brand, Amy. It's, but here's the thing. It's like, that's not, like, Why? Why? I would just rather have gnarly, stank feet than go play a game of Twister. <laughs> they have the ones that you that you are tiny, right? I don't know who who has what, but I'm just saying they do. What's the matter? I think I won. You think you won yeah. at what? The pump. I beat the pump. Oh, this is my my husband. Our remember how I told you our pool pump went out. Well, I am a very blessed woman. My husband found a pump online, half price from the store, went out there, made several trips to the Home Depot, <laughs> eventually got that pump installed. Oh, I spray the shoes with Hero Clean, but still, the, their feet themselves are, are what this is the stank issue. Um, and then he had to go back out again today to refit new fittings and put a cover over it. Apparently, people steal pool pump covers Yeah. in, like, Florida. Like, it's a thing. I had no idea. We never covered our pump. Probably why it broke, because it got rained on all the time. But, yeah, so he won. So he's here in a celebratory manner. Um, somebody's first time live. Now. Amanda, everybody welcome Amanda. It shouldn't leave. It shouldn't leak now. Well, he installed it and it was leaking, but it shouldn't leak well, now. Well, I knew it was going to leak. All right. Hey, 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 hey. Get out of here. I almost forgot it again. I put it in. I had to take it out real quick and put the piece in that I forgot last time. You, I love rock on snoring husband, Melinda says. I, I, I love, I, he is handy. I have to be honest. Um, the, it's, the live is on my face. What is it? Oh, yeah. Where? No, this right here. Oh, is it still on my face? What if I do this? What if I do that? No. What if I do this? Um, he is very handy, and he does a great job. The issue is just because he's a perfectionist, and he has to try to do things over and over and over again until he believes it to be 
acceptable. You drive me bonkers. Uh, Anna said she's 90% sure it's still leaking. Ah! It's, I'm 99, 90% sure it's not leaking. 99.9? No, I changed it from 99 to 90%. Oh, 90? Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, you can get, Heather, you can get it on Jet or Amazon or in Target or any of those stores too. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. So, any Hoozle McToozle. So, um, it, it's, it is Friday. So, uh, I, I told them all the housekeeping things. Was there anything else that I forgot? Uh, did you tell them the page to upload their pictures? That's an appropriate.com forward slash contest. That's an appropriate.com forward slash contest. That's where you go to upload your pet pics. It's working now, yeah? Yeah. Are there people uploading? Yes, people are uploading. Okay, people are uploading, so get your pet photos in there. Even if it's a betta fish, it counts. It's a pet. Don't be sending in pictures, though, of, like, the family spider that's in the corner. I don't know if that counts. It, it all counts. It all counts. It all counts. Um, vote on it, so we, we You guys know. vote on it, but you can't. don't send in pictures of your kids. Those don't count. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so make sure to do that. Make sure to head over, click through, check out Bulletproof. That's oh, what I'm going to yes, be doing. Maureen, they do sell K-Cups. But... Yeah, they sell K-Cups. Ch- click over, check through, because I'm going to be going and ordering, because I, I cannot believe that this is this is all that I have left. Uh, Samantha, this has I'm, become an emergency. I'm a cancer. This has become an emergency. An emergency situation, okay? So I have to go back. I like to order them in the three packs. Oh, Michelle's so brother-in-law seems delightful. Michelle's brother-in-law? Sounds like me and his precious. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a real delight. Um, does it really only let JPEGs through for the photo contest? It should be JPEGs or GIFs or PNGs. No, there's three different file types. Where do we upload them? www.thatsinappropriate.com forward slash contest. All the info's in the newsletter. It's all in the newsletter. If you didn't get the newsletter, make sure you subscribe. It's on the website. You go subscribe to the newsletter. Okay? But yeah, if you have a snake, that counts. That's a pet. Katrina, do you have your own pet? Send it in. It's called Mentalist. This one is called Mentalist. This is the whole bean. I like to grind my beans. I like to grind my beans because it makes my house smell nice. Um... I know, Amy. We folded all the laundry in 20 minutes this morning. They're making fun of me now. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, we'll put it in there. Can you just type it in there? Can hey, you put the see. link? That's an appropriate.com forward slash contest for these for the pet contest. We're going to put the link in for you right now. And, yeah. And so, it's now. So, my, my coffee has now become an emergency situation that mo- has moved up to the top level of my to-do list today. So, that's going to be getting done next. Um, oh, yeah. That's the other thing that I feel really slighted about. So Florida apparently has decided we're not participating anymore in, what's it called? Time savings? savings. Time savings. Yes. Daylight savings, time savings, whatever you call it, right? They voted. We don't want to partake anymore. Goes to the governor's desk. He's definitely going to sign it. And so last night I said, okay, well, this is neat. Like, so now we don't have to spring forward. And Eric goes, oh, no, we still have to spring forward. I said, I'm sorry, what? He goes, well, yeah, you still have to spring forward because um, we just won't do the next cycle. And I go, so wait a minute. We have to spring forward. But when it comes time to fall back, we don't get the hour. So everybody else gets the hour that does it, but we don't get the hour. It's, the it's not the same. It's I'm this... losing an hour. No. This, I'm physically losing an hour of my day, of my time, of my life. It's going to be gone. Time traveled, gone. On Saturday, uh, Saturday night or Sunday morning, whatever that is, it'll be it's the gone. Same. It's After not the year. It'll be the same. Okay, it'll it's not the difference. same, and I feel as though I'm being robbed be- because then I don't get to fall back. All these other suckers are going to get to fall back in the fall. I had to spring forward, but I don't get to fall back. I'm writing a letter. Yes, Allison, just email look. It in. I just got sweaty. That's how worked up I got. Uh, relax. Well, it's not fair. How about you have we'll, to end we'll on a fall you, back? We'll let you fall back. We'll just set the clock in the bedroom back an hour. Ugh. Although it's already 45, 45 minutes off. Oh, he's going to have a nightmare now. Mm-mm. Uh-oh. No. What's no. What going to do? I see no bright sides to this. Don't, don't come in here and tell me to look on the bright side. I see no bright sides. Yeah, Arizona doesn't do this either. More daylight in the evening. The kids will never go to sleep now. 
It just, but it's like, why? Why do we have to end on a spring forward and not a fall back? I'm just saying. I don't know why we do it. I don't remember the history of it. I don't it's remember. Farming. farming. It's based well, on the seasons. Yeah, can I have a tissue? I'm going to smell all of this. Use the socks. Oh, just get me a. Just use the socks. Can I just please have a. <coughs> yeah, so any, anyway. Um, I don't know why they let the states pick either. I don't know why this isn't an all or none. It's incorrect, it? I know, but why do you, why do some people just get to pick? <gasps> get that from her. Hey. No. This is the second time she's had it. Ooh, she Did she get it? it? Oh, no. <sighs> no. You are so bad. <sighs> this was Sophia's brand new teddy bear. This was what we brought her back from New York. Oh, man, she's going to be super bummed. I bet Eric can sew that. Although it smells like dog butt now. Here, take that. Ugh. Yeah, so you want to know where this will really get tricky? What? When you're dealing with people in different time zones that do change, and you don't. Oh, my God, what does that mean? It could be different now. How could it be different? Did our time zone change? No, we're just changing. But the difference between the Eastern and Mountain and Pacific time zones will be different because we don't go up and back an hour. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm super confused. So the people in New York are springing forward. We're springing forward. But in the fall back, we don't fall back and they do, so we won't be on the same time? Right. <gasps> so what do you do when you set a phone call? You figure out <gasps> what it is. Because it's Eastern time. Oh my gosh. This is insanity. I can't even think about this anymore. This is utterly blowing my mind. I can't take it. Yes, Melissa. That's why I keep telling her it's not going to matter. It's the same number of sunlight hours in the day. It doesn't change. You don't know. I do know. You don't have any it's idea. Called it's called science. Okay. It's blasphemy is it's what it is. It's called science. I'm not doing this anymore. The round thing circles around the other round thing. And it gives you light. Amy, it's all time travel and it's hocus pocus garbage right, and I'm Gabby. not doing we'll, it anymore. We'll need our own time zone because we won't be Eastern anymore. That's what I'm saying. What's going to happen? Yeah, what are we now? Florida time. <sighs> this is so confusing. So you will be 10 p.m. and we will be 9 p.m.? See, Arizona has their own time zone. Oh my gosh. I can't sew the dog, Jennifer. I don't know how to sew. I'm going to have to ask Eric later. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I can't right now. I can't do it. I just can't. I can't even focus. I'm so distraught. Okay. So make sure to head over. <laughs> Christina goes, you're lame, Florida. Um, make sure to head over, check out Bulletproof, use your coupon. Um, it's, it's, I'm hooked on it. And now I'm having an emergency because I have to go order. Um, Make sure to head over to the website, register for the newsletter, sign up for the contest so you can win some swag. If you're watching this on YouTube, the link for Bulletproof is down below. YouTube is down below Facebook for the link. Above. Facebook up above. And it's always an Instagram. Always, always, always an Instagram. And you can head over and follow us on Instagram. And um, if you had tickets to the Durham or, Nor or Tennessee show, you got an email in your inbox inviting you to a private live event uh, tomorrow night at 8 p.m. So make sure to go to that page and become part of that group. And I will have a great weekend. Everybody be safe. Try not to time travel if you can help it. Don't you go near that stuffed animal. I am so angry with you. And I will see you guys all uh, next week. All right. I'm buying it today. Maureen says she's got to try this coffee. Get it. Go on and get it. What is the thing I like? The, the bottle. Fat water? Yeah. Yeah, we love the fat and water. The, the snack well, they bar. have mango. That's yeah. why you like it. And that snack bar thing. All right, guys. You have a great rest of your day. Bye.